A recent recall from Target caught the attention of our eye team. It involves water beads, beads that grow larger once water is added. But if you swallow one, they can cause life-threatening blockages. When the eye team tracked down our local poison control centers, we found a rise in cases across the river region. The eye team's Will Rio breaks down the potential dangers for local parents and caregivers. Well, we asked for three years of data from Georgia and South Carolina poison control centers, and there is no doubt that both report an increase in cases in 2022 compared to two previous years. We're talking a 145% increase in calls in Georgia alone. Five of those calls came from our area in the past 12 months. One baby story about swallowing a water bead in Maine went viral. Kennedy's mom took to TikTok to warn others. After her nine-month-old baby needed several surgeries after the water bead caused a blockage, her mom was warned Kennedy may not survive. The story even spurred a reaction by Target, where she bought the chuckle and roar water beads for her older autistic son. Target told the I-Team in a written statement, we are treating the situation very seriously. We have removed this product while we address these concerns with the vendor. But the I-Team checked Target's website and found the same brand's water beads still for sale in a different sensory bin activity kit marketed to older kids. Target also still carries other brands and warned they are a choking hazard for children under three. And it's not just Target. Water beads are available at most major retailers, including Amazon, where we bought these, all posing a potential danger to children if ingested. But what they look for would be a bloated, potentially hard stomach, um, not having uh, bowel movements like they would normally, uh, not eating. Uh, feeling nauseated or even vomiting. Dr. Jill Michaels is the managing director of the Palmetto Poison Center. She's also a pharmacist and board certified toxicologist. The I team looked at three years of calls into her poison control center and found nearly half of all the calls came most recently in 2022. 58% of total calls were children under two. In Georgia, 2022 recorded a 145% spike in calls over water bead ingestion compared to the two years before. Four of those calls from Richmond County and another from Columbia County. Dr. Michael says she's seen enough to know water beads should come with a written warning on the packaging. Sure, the warning would help that if, if ingested, this could cause a you know, blockage in the body. So I think, yes, it should be on there so people can be aware of the potential dangers um, if, if small kids would eat these. The American Academy of Pediatrics warned as far back as 2016, water absorbing gel beads look like candy, so children may be tempted to swallow them. When the tiny hard plastic balls are placed in water, they can grow up to 200 times their size. Children also have put them in their ears. The I-Team found more moms sharing their own stories on social media, trying to save other families their heartache. Ashley Hagen took it a step further, founding That Water Bead Lady. The nonprofit runs a blog online to educate others on the dangers. Kipley was diagnosed with toxic brain encephalopathy due to acrylamide monomer poisoning from ingestion of water beads. Ashley says Kipley was only 10 months old when she swallowed a water bead that was a birthday gift to her then six-year-old sister. Her symptoms started with a rash. Within weeks, she was violently vomiting. After numerous tests and no answers, the surgeon decided to make a bold move and he rushed Kipley into the operating room for emergency exploratory surgery. We didn't see Kipley swallow anything, so we were shocked when the surgeon showed us the picture of the water bead material he found in her small intestine. Beyond the blog, she advocates to caregivers, pediatricians, and even the Consumer Product Safety Commission, where Ashley testified last December. It, it disrupted our entire family. It disrupted the trajectory of her life. It's, it is something that no family should have to go through. Yeah, when you spell it out like that and you look at these, that yeah. is definitely something a kid would 
put in their mouth. Yeah, absolutely. And it's important to keep in mind that what may be okay to touch isn't necessarily okay to put inside of your body here. We want to show you a close up of these water beads and what they actually look like. And the ones right here that you can see, those are the initial seeds that they start out. I mean, they're they like so sprinkles exactly. They're so small. They're colorful. It looks like something a kid would try to put in their mouths. And then on the other side, this was just about 30 to 45 minutes sitting in water and they're significantly bigger. So you can imagine a small, a child, small child putting that in their mouth. How small their intestines are, but yeah, I will not have these in my house after watching that. But also we have a new puppy at home. So now I'm looking at this. This falls on the floor from a kid's project. That's not great for exactly. a pet either. Exactly. And the Palmetto Poison Center even said that if dogs or cats get a hold of this and they swallow it, it can cause other issues there. And I mean, you can be as tentative as you want as a, as a parent, as a caregiver, and it takes a split second. You can be right there. You'd never even know that your child or your pet had swallowed that. Absolutely. That's something that they should just consider taking off the shelves. Absolutely. I will not buy those. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thanks for looking into that and letting us know about it, Will.